Hi guys, welcome back to the garage. It's been a minute, huh? So, um, first I want to, I, I hope you guys have all seen, we have a new fur baby and we are so excited. And Andy is especially excited and overjoyed for this. So he's been a, a lost, lonely soul the last few weeks without his beloved Margaret. So um, this was great. And uh, it almost feels like her soul is part of this new cat because there are some things that she does that uh, are exactly like Margaret. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm here doing a video because I finally got a goodie package I have been waiting months for. Months for. Um, so I'm friends with Sasha Graham. I love her. Love, love, love her. I love the way she thinks. I love the way she speaks. Um, I, I just love how much she gets into the tarot. So Sasha sent me her new deck, the, the haunted house. And I have not watched anybody else's unboxings of these videos, uh, unboxing videos, because I wanted to make up my own mind about the deck first before I watched anybody else. She also sent me her new book, The Rider Waite Smith Tarot. Oh my gosh, have you seen this book? <gasps> it's going to take me months to read it, but I am going to enjoy every single moment of it so I am so thrilled and excited to have this once I read it I will um, I'll do a review on it but um, yeah there'll be a few months down the line I think <laughs> anyway today I'm going to unbox the haunted house tarot so I'm so excited so excited so um, I did take the cellophane off the box and as you can see I took it out of the package save a little time nobody wants to watch somebody struggling with cellophane right for five minutes so uh same thing the cards had cellophane on them as well i took that off um the little white book here um i i i just i love it love it love it love it so let me see low scarabeo is usually in several languages which this is, and it goes up to page 19 for English. Uh, ooh, I love this. The Haunted House Tarot. To enter the deck, you may read these words aloud. Oh, there's quite a bit of it. Tarot talks what it was inspired by romantic covers along with my adoration of creepy movies and deep love of the supernatural and macabre yeah that's where sasha and i connect as well as on the uh the tarot and we love food and so um yes speaking of which i am just going to throw out there that uh sasha is actually working on a tarot cookbook hello seriously so um if you have not seen her videos for her enchanted kitchen i am going to link that below because that she's done six episodes i think she's going to do some more but um i just thought they were genius and some of those recipes i have actually found in her book uh 365 tarot spells not spreads but they're in spells, her recipes, some of them. So, I mean, seriously, food and tarot, that's like my life calling right there. <laughs> so, I'm excited. Anyway, back to this tarot. So, um, okay. Well, I'm, I'm not going to read aloud because I'm going to save that for you guys to get into. But um, she just has a quick how to read the cards and then... Um, the usual LWB things, the Tarosophy thing, and we have the art card, which is pretty cool. The back of the cards, which I actually love. I really love the back of the, the deck. It is reversible, but the house and the moon and the muted colors. So I like that part. So far, so good. Borderless, yes. So here's our full card. 
good card. I'd say that's pretty decent card stock. I think it'll it'll bend and shuffle nicely. So yeah, I'd like it. So here's the fool. Ooh. The magician. Wow, I'm liking this where this is going. My priestess. Ooh. Modern. It's modern. But old kind of modern. Kind of reminds me of Vincent Price's on Haunted, the house on Haunted Hill, I think it is. Oh, ho, ho. that's a great card. That's a great card. Ooh. <laughs> I like the chariot. I love this card. This was the card that sold me on this deck. And I don't know if it was meant to be like this or not, but this card reminds me a lot of Sasha. She is a very strong and enduring woman, and her eyes just, um, I love looking into her eyes. So, um, a very complex, I don't know, she's just wonderful, but this card just reminds me of her. So, ooh. I, I, I'm digging on that hermit. That's a cool hermit card. The wheel. Ooh. The hanged man. Ooh. Okay, guys. I'm 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 kind of digging on these cards. I really. Oh, these are so very cool. Oh, the devil. I like it. I like it. The tower. Wow. That's cool. That is cool. Everything is just... Wow. Beautiful. Oh, that... that that just speaks to my soul right there. Eh, it's okay. Wow. I like that one. So far, so good. Uh, I've enjoyed the majors. Let's see how the minors work out. So we are going to start with cups. And I love that. The, uh, the hands for, for the chalice water. Um, nice. Two. Ooh. That's an interesting tree of cups. I like the four. These are nice. I mean, they're, they're, they're simple depictions. Um, I suppose if you took time with them, you could get deeper. Oh, now that's interesting to have the writer weight version right behind him. Wow. And there's the 10. So now I think we have the page. The knight, angels, the queen, and the king. Wow. Okay, pentacles. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Three. Oh, my God. That's interesting. Oh, here's a good one for some. <laughs> Giant. I don't know if they're spiders or crabs. That one's got a claw. That has a claw. 
Hmm, I don't know. We have to look in the book for that one. Nieces or rats. I like that one. I love that that Eight of Pentacles boy. Wow. I really like that one. And then, interesting. Again, another Rider Waite depiction within a card. I'm not so sure I'm fond of that. Not so sure. That's kind of like what well, feels a little lazy. Feels a little lazy. Um, okay, so Page. Knight. That's cool. Queen. Love the hair. Ooh. Hello, King. That's my kind of king. Um, <laughs> so here we go. Wands apparently is candles. So there's your ace. Mmm. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, 10, wow, page, knight, queen, oh my, king, ooh, that's interesting, these are okay, um, okay, oh nice, so, Ace of Swords, two, ooh, I kind of like that one, Vampire, I like this one too, four, five, like that. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Page. Night. Ooh, these are dark. Queen and King. Interesting. Interesting. Some of the cards I kind of feel are a little lazy. Um, I like the fact that it's borderless and um, the card stock is good. I'm going to do a little shuffle duffle here and pull a card and see what we get from this deck. So let's see. What would you like? to tell me about you. What do you want to tell me about you and working with you, huh? What do you want to tell me? It's a good shuffler. It's a good, it's a, a great shuffle. So I like that. Like I said, the card stock is, is good. Um, I like a lot of the depictions. There are some where I'm like, eh. And there are some where it's like blatantly lazy. Um, but for the most part, let's see, you know, what, as I'm dropping cards on the floor. <laughs> ah, okay, that one doesn't want to be read, I don't think. Ooh. Well, we'll see if he fits. He's face up, so we'll see if he fits into the... Uh, 
fits into the scheme of things here. So let's uh, let's see. All right. So first shuffle, first shuffle, and cut and kerfluffle. And what do we get here? Uh, eleven, which I think is justice. Justice. Hmm. Maybe this deck is going to do me some justice. I mean, maybe it's going to be just, you know, straight on point and it's not going to waffle or, or um, it's going to give me what I want with no nonsense, it almost seems like. Because she just doesn't, she's like, I, I don't care what you think. I'm here to, to um, you know, provide the right answers, I guess. And so the card that I dropped is the Ten of Cups. Or, is it, yes, it's the Ten of Cups. So, um, hold on. So, here's a card I dropped. So this is one of the cards I thought was a little eh, because it's got, you know, the Rider weight depiction in the back there. So, um, Justice with the Ten of Cups. Um, whatever this is talking about, I don't know if it's love, if it's relationships, um, I, if it's the relationship with the deck, it's, it's, it's all going to be good. It looks like, you know, Justice is going to be well served. And so, um, I think our connection, my connection with the deck is, is going to be a good one. So I'm going to use this for the month of October, along with several others I have. And uh, we'll see what happens, but it sounds like it's a good fit for me. So there you have my, uh, my unboxing of the Tarot of the Haunted House by Sasha Graham. Much love, and I'll see you guys next time.